ladies and gentlemen in today's video i will be showing you this cool add-on where you can literally change into every mob in the game from a bee to a creeper to a wither and then to the ender dragon itself Alrighty, guys so this mod adds in three items as you can see we got full glass a morphing bracelet and the scroll of souls right now we'll be talking about the soul glass and the main item itself, the morphing bracelet, this is like basically like Ben Den's uh, bracelet. So, first thing we need to do is we need to craft this soul glass. In survival, you, as you can see, you put soul sand in the furnace and you should be able to get uh, soul glass. Bada bing, bada boom. Once you have this, you need four pieces of soul soil, not soul sand. And you can go ahead and craft it like this right here. As you can see, that gives you the morphing bracelet. And now you can see it is on my hands. When I go ahead and right click, this is the morph menu. As you can see, we don't got any mobs. On a side note here, if you pay attention, the soul glass actually looks pretty darn dang cool, especially the soul sand texture, but in on glass form so we need to find the nearest mob i don't want to do a turtle let's go see what we can hunt down i saw a creeper over here nope we got a pig perfect as you can see you saw that blue particle effect now if we continue to look for mobs um we may have to use that turtle unfortunately Sorry, bud. Alrighty. Now, if we go ahead and right click, you can see we can officially change the mobs. Now, if I go in third person, as you can see, I am now a pig. And you can see that it actually used durability off the bracelet. So now I want to change into a turtle. Now each of these has its own abilities, each mob does. The turtle tends to swim faster, it also gives you a haste speed. Which is pretty nice. And now to change back to a human, that's what you do. Now that you can see our bracelet has taken some damage, what we can do is if we stand on soul sand, we will be able to recharge the bracelet using that animation, which is pretty dope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the best mobs that have some of the coolest abilities. Obviously, you can change into any mob in the game. Let's go get the Wither. Let's go get the Ender Dragon. Let's go get the Warden. And let's go test all these crazy things. Alrighty, guys, as you can see, we are back. As you can probably tell, I defeated the Ender Dragon because I have 61 levels, but... You can see all the different mobs that we have here. Today, I will be showing you some of my favorite ones. Uh, I'm not going to do all these, but let's go ahead and start off with the bee. As you can see, I can actually fly, and I'm in survival mode. Probably the easiest mob for you to get in terms of flying. Now, the bee has a special feature too, is if you just use your hand and you hit an animal... You actually give it poison, which is actually pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure if it's a cooldown because only the turtle seems to have gotten it. But yeah, next mob we'll go ahead and do, which is freaking amazing, is the creeper. As you can see, I am now a creeper. We are going to go to the sheep and kabam. The only issue is when you do it, as you can see, you blow yourself up. Alrighty guys, the next mob I want to go ahead and show you is the Enderman. As you can see here, we got our long skinny arms. But as you can see in my hotbar, I got this teleportation Eye of Ender. It does take an inventory slot for all these mobs, which is unfortunate. But the teleportation ability is absolutely insane. Uh, you see that brown mushroom over there? Let's just... Boom. I'm over here now. 
look at how far you can go. It's ridiculous. Oh, I want to go over here. Boom. I'm over here. I want to go back over here. Boom. I'm here. And as you can see, my hearts also change. So depending on what mob you are is the amount of parts you get. So a weaker mob would have lesser hearts. So more powerful the mob would have the most hearts. Next one we'll go ahead and do is the iron golem here. As you can see, I have a crap ton of hearts. Um, you do move a lot slower, but you go ahead and you knock back some mobs. As you can see, you basically function as an iron golem. You do some pretty massive damage. And you're a pretty cool iron golem who can crouch. And you do the animation as well, which is pretty neat. Next thing we'll go ahead and do is the blaze. With the blaze, you get the small fireball. You can also fly as needed, but you basically function as a blaze. You can start fires. Um, like I said, the smoke of the bear, I'm sorry, but I don't like that creeper. We're going to light him on fire. Quickly transitioning to the gas. The gas does the same thing. Um, you also can fly. You also do get a hover ability, but you only you have significantly less heart. So, as you can see, you shoot some massive fireballs, basically like a normal gas. Probably would be good to use this against other gas in the Nether. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and get to some of the crazy stuff. First one we'll go ahead and focus on is the warden. As you can see, I have my health. And as you've noticed, I've gotten some blindness. I can't see what's around me. Just like the warden. You move very slow too. And we got some mobs over here. You also do get the sonic boom blast. So you see the sheep. Boom. Dead. It is that crazy. I believe when you also use this ability in sprint for a short amount of time before it just stops letting you. But you are the warden, which is super freaking cool. Now, moving on to the wither. As you can see, I am the wither now. Using these more powerful mobs tends to use your morphing bracelet a lot more. As the wither, you can fly, obviously. But now you get two. You get the wither skull and the blue wither skull. So the normal wither skull functions. I believe it blows stuff up still, but it also gives withering. Now you also ha do have the more... Uh, damaging blue skull you can use as well i'm trying not to blow up my area over here we'll go over here but as you can see you do get it these are a lot more slow moving and they're not very accurate um if you try to go up down but if you're like boom as you can see you're basically the wither you have a bunch of health um you can spam wither skulls pretty much to no degree and then of course you can go ahead and use the blue wither skull Next morphing bracelet we're gonna do, finally, the beast. You have the Ender Dragon, which is probably the most powerful one in the game. As you can see, you do have the wings flapping and you can actually become the Ender Dragon, which is actually pretty cool. Now, fun fact about the Ender Dragon is if you go down, you can actually just break stuff. like it normally does so if you need to excavate things just use the ender dragon clear out a massive amount of area pretty quickly next you do get the dragon fireball the dragon fireball uh i believe does dragon's breath yep i believe it has like a normal ability because i don't think that yeah, there they go. They start taking damage now. I was like, just take a bit of a difference. 
um, in order to get this. But as you can see, the, you can do it for any mob. Every mob is the same. I will say in terms of morphing, uh, we'll go ahead and switch back to a human here. And then we'll go ahead and go game with creative so we don't get targeted. But I will say some abilities like the villager and stuff and the witch they don't really have any abilities the witch you should be able to throw like instant damage to potions stuff like that i think you get like fire uh resistance things of that nature but spiders you're not able to crawl up stuff which is unfortunate um it does allow you but it just gives you like jump boost really instead of the actual like climbing ability which is unfortunate but Switching back to a human, we have the scroll of souls here, which is interesting. So you will need a soul campfire. You go ahead and get paper. You put the paper on the soul campfire. Now this will go ahead and give you one of the soul scrolls. Um, I'm not sure how long this is. This takes probably a, a long time. Um, would be my guess because these are super overpowered. So I'm going to back up a little bit while those are cooking. And what's going to happen is I'm going to switch to, let's say, the Ender Dragon. As you can tell, I'm doing damage. If I right-click the Scroll of Souls, you can see it changes. For the sake of the video, I'm going to go back to a human. And now if we look over this, we have the Morph Ender Dragon. You're able to share these scrolls with other people while maintaining the ability you've already gotten, which is crazy. As you can see, they're done. The paper turned into these scrolls. I think these should be more valuable or at least make it so that if you give one up, it doesn't appear back in your morph menu. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe as you see fit. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Goodbye.